Okay, welcome to the episode, uh, Caleb isn't here. Caleb's too afraid, Caleb's in LA, he yeah. said he was going to call in, but then he said he was actually afraid of a phone. And he, the said phone was... he said that he broke his phone by dropping it in the toilet while he peed. Yeah, on purpose. On purpose, because he didn't, he was trying he to thought, test a life-proof case. He, he thought it would make the phone more, more fast, mm-hmm. he thought it would speed up the phone yeah, if it got he thought the heat it. of the pee would make the phone faster. And it normally would, but he has very cold pee. Mm-hmm. He has gazpacho pee. <laughs> it's red, too. It's red, and it comes out all chunky. <laughs> it tastes and, delicious. Yeah, it tastes so good. <laughs> and I love it. I love I pee. love to eat it on a hot summer day. Um, God, I guess this is also good, because we've had a bunch of complaints that our voices are too similar. Yeah. And that's what's the, that's me and Caleb, who have similar voices, right? I honestly don't know. I, think I, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be easier to differentiate. It should have been easier to differentiate now that Caleb was supposed to Skype in, but he's not here. Yeah. But I think, I think we, I mean, I might sound fucking stupid saying this, because I don't, I, I don't think we sound similar, but I don't think we sound similar. I don't but think, Maybe yeah. everyone at home is like... Man, these idiots! Are, this one guy is talking to himself this whole show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it turns um, out Tyler Durden was actually Caleb and Cameron the whole holy movie. Holy shit! Yeah, and then uh, what's the Pixie song plays? Uh, where is my Where is my, my son? <laughs> where? Because <laughs> they're um, brothers. Tyler Durden and Edward Norton are brothers. Yeah, that's what makes that's what makes the movie so uh, ingenious. Yeah, that's why. David David Fincher, David Chappelle, David Chappelle, the director and creator of Fight Club, mm-hmm. the movie, and he wrote the book too. And he wrote, well, he wrote he wrote the every other word of the book. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'd be cause like, he switched between his own Tyler Durden personality. Oh, uh, okay. And was writing, yeah, he wrote he. <laughs> Dave Chappelle has a Tyler Durden. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's Chuck it was, Taylor. It's it was, the white persona that he had on yeah, the Chappelle yeah. show. No, it was... Listen, when Dave Chappelle said all that transphobic stuff and stuff, that was his alternate <laughs> personality, okay? We can't hold him accountable yeah. for that. That was Tyler Durden. Um, yeah, so we figured today... We don't really know what to do. We There's this crazy website. It's uh, allthetests.com. It has mm-hmm. a lot of good like personality tests. It has tests. every test on there. Even all of the tests. We can do test I have HIV? Also. Exactly. <laughs> yes. It's a personality test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you annoying to be around? <laughs> <laughs> then yes, you totally do. <laughs> um, this, is yeah. where, this is how you can test to see whether or not you're Italian... Or if you have HIV, this website... I bet that there's a test about Italian. I bet there's at least 20 tests that are like, are you Italian? And it's all like, does your mom cook you a big meal? Yeah. yeah. I bet <laughs> Do we you can call your grandma Nona? <laughs> are you Italian? <laughs> <laughs> um, this, yeah. Uh, now, I'm really confused here because it's... So this is... We're looking at the test right now. Do I have the power of telekinesis? And... It has a star rating, like it's rated three and a half stars, but mm-hmm. next to that it has a female and male symbol. Oh, so this is uh It's for both, I guess. It's a gender neutral quiz. But is that that's such a weird way to categorize yeah. I mean I Well, feel like, I mean, like, you know, you go in there, you're 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 a lady, you go in there, you get a question that says, uh Something like, do you like Sports Center? Exactly, and, and then you're confused. It throws off the whole test. You're like, mm-hmm. what the fuck is Sports Center? What the hell is that? I only watch Princess Center mm-hmm. and Lipstick Center. <laughs> <laughs> I only watch I Broke My Nail Center. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about. I was talking to Dom about this the other day. I don't know if I just watched the same like three movies as a kid, or if that I Broke My Nail joke shows up in a bunch of movies i don't know i feel like i couldn't name a movie that's in but that's mm-hmm. like i rec- like i feel like that i yeah. recognize that as a joke there's yeah. probably a super cut of like women breaking their nails yeah hmm. it's called uh it's on it's fetish called, site it's called freaking uh glee i don't it's called know benghazi What's truth a- <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, we got it. We're we're trying to really trying to ratchet up the misogyny now that Caleb's yeah. gone. We really have to compensate. 
Um, I wonder what he's doing right now. Yeah, he's probably. Well, he said he's at a waterfall. Yeah, he's probably. Uh, he's probably only going there to pee. <laughs> Just to pee into the water. That's what everyone does in California. They have one big waterfall, and they all pee in it. Yeah, they call it the the pee fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's uh the yellow. No, not the yellow river. That's a real river. What's where's that? All I know is Jack Nicholson drinks out of the pee waterfall. He does, and then, and then he goes to the Lakers game. What's that? Bas- basketball. This guy doesn't know. Basketball. Sorry. Okay, sorry. I don't know basketball. When I was little, my mom made me play, and I guess like not like middle school. My mom made me play mm-hmm. in like the middle school basketball. Me league, too. And it was hell, dude. I, the the rec basketball league. Uh, yeah. I had to play on my cousin's team. And I showed up to one practice in jeans, and then my mom was, like, on the side, and she was, like, telling me to, like, play, and I was like, I am, but I was just standing in the corner in jeans. Oh, yeah. All the other, like, boys on the team, like, knew each other, and Mm -hmm. were all, like, like, jocks and shit, and I was just, like, fucking, like... Spurgy nerd, mm-hmm. you know it was the worst, and I had to like play like oh you're man, like, one day they're gonna it was pay. yeah, I was like one day I'm going to hunt you all down and <laughs> one chop day you're your going to up. pay. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching, I rewatched The Shining, yeah, the other day, and I was thinking it'd be funny like where if the like the kid like goes and he gets the lipstick and he writes he writes um yag my, and then the mom wakes up and looks in the mirror and it says I'm gay. And she's like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking out, <laughs> you know. He's like talking. You know how he talks with his finger. And he's like, yeah. he's gay, Mrs. Torrance. <laughs> he's like, oh no, please. That'd be a different movie. Yeah, it'd be called the the guy. Thing. Yeah, Boom. there we go. Yeah, hell yeah. Um. Anyway, do I have the power of telekinesis? We're gonna find out. This by Armand <laughs> Wizard. No, no, it says it says developed by. Oh, just, yeah. oh that's not even Armand. It's what is that? Ar- Ar- Aramazed. 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 Oh yeah. Armazed Wizard. Developed on 2007, July 15th. Two thousand two thousand two hundred thousand twenty nine. Fuck! I can't read numbers that what? big. What? <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? Oh, I thought that was a decimal. This must be oh, a stupid okay. European website. Fucking, you know what? Yeah, we can't use the subject. 229,000. 25 people like it. People have taken it. That's and a lot only, of people. And only 25 people like it. Oh, that's a bad ratio. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I think it's so funny. It says developed. That's mm-hmm. great. <laughs> I developed this quiz. This wizard developed a All quiz. All right. Question one. What is telekinesis? <laughs> uh, is it the power to read somebody's mind? The power to change the color of an object, or the power to move an object using only one's mind. Um, I know the answer, but I'm going to let Patrick try and figure this one out. I also know the answer, but I was going to let you. Well, I, I well, I'm just it. testing you. I, just oh, you I was going to test you to see if you know because it's clearly the power to change the color of mm-hmm. an object. Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. Choose let's that one. let's see. Does it? Oh, it doesn't tell. Okay. Just go, oh, it's a personality quiz, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Number two is, what would you want to use telekinesis for? <laughs> Number one is to kill my most hated classmates. Yeah, this is what you were going to do with the basketball team. Exactly. Dude, I was going to go fucking carry. Yeah. What about a carry, but it's with a, a boy and it's Larry? Yeah. <laughs> it's the exact same movie. <laughs> yeah, Larry still dates John Travolta. Yeah. Or takes John Travolta to the prom. Wait, no. no John no. Travolta's in John it, Travolta's, but he doesn't. That, John Travolta is like... Maybe one of the most evil characters he's ever played in that movie. It, he is, really? He's the one who, like, beheads the pig and, like... Oh. And he like, also, like... Yeah, he's a fucking creep in that movie. No, it's some other guy takes her. He's in on the plot, but he doesn't. she doesn't take... Yeah, because um, he turns out to be a good guy at the end, or whatever, right? He, like... I don't like, think so. Oh, I'm in on it, but I actually feel bad now. I don't think that... I don't that remember anybody. that movie. I think I only... I think I saw the the remake... More than I saw. Yeah, remember the Sci-Fi Channel made a remake of Carrie? Yeah, with uh, Chloe Grace Moretz? No, right? there's been three Carries. Oh, really? Yeah, and the second, the one in between the Chloe Grace Moretz one was the Sci-Fi Channel one, and because it was made by Sci-Fi Channel, there was a whole scene of all the, the girls talking about how they're going to shave their pubes for prom. <laughs> and Dude, it's that's like, awesome. I remember being a kid and being like, that's not what they talk about in the locker like, room. 
Yeah. No way. No way they talk. They Dude, talk the best about part of Carrie is when the fucking... In the lock. Girls talk about math in the locker room. They talk about physics and science. Yeah, yeah. And they talk about uh, creating the atom bomb. <laughs> <laughs> creating one atom bomb. <laughs> that's Yeah, no, that's true. Um, the best part of Carrie is just when the, the teacher just fucking wailing on the, the kids. Remember that? <laughs> no. It's like the, I, the, I don't the, think the I've like, seen female the... coach. Um, they're like all doing push ups or something, and someone like talks back to her or something. Like they all they were all like making fun of Carrie, and then she's just, like, You can't do that. And then the, the the girl's like, Oh, like we were just like having fun, and she just fucking smacks her. It's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. That's so crazy it's that you were just time. yeah you were just allowed to hit kids in school back well, then. Well, I think that you weren't because I think the the in the movie the girl was like you can't do that and she's like fucking watch me and oh okay and yeah she gets fired or something no ah. no payback whatsoever so it's <laughs> it's, just, point, it's a pointless scene <laughs> I think she's supposed to be the good guy in that scene because mm-hmm. she's like sticking up for Carrie by okay hitting a by hitting, yeah, hitting a sixteen year old girl <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so what do you want to use? So, yeah, it's obviously for? number one. Yeah, we don't even need to read the other ones. Yeah. Kill my most hated classmates. Number three. <laughs> what? What is Psy Ball? P-S-I space ball. Oh, like psychic ball? I guess. Well, <laughs> P-S-I is, is pressure per square inch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, they're going, I think this was made by, I think that's like a, that's the sound- Pokemon one. Yeah, I was going to say that sounds like Dragon Ball or yeah. something. Yeah. So um, the options are a ball filled with water, a ball made of one's own psychic energy, a ball made of plastic, or it has nothing to do with a ball. <laughs> I think okay, when I hear psi ball, I think it might have something to do with a ball. I think that's it might have something. You remember Fushigi? Oh, I remember Fushigi. I think it might I think that's what they're talking about and from what I remember the Fushigi was a plastic ball. I think isn't it is it not glass? No. I guess that makes a lot of I sense. I think it might be polyurethane, but I don't yeah. know if polyurethane's a type of plastic. That's a polymer. Okay. And Wait, plastic is polyurethane, is... that's the is that a fuck they put that over paint? That they make skateboard wheels out of polyurethane. Really? Yeah. I must be thinking of something else. But there is polyurethane paint that you can put <laughs> on a porch. Yeah, I just remember you I think you paint over I don't fucking know, dude. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say it's a ball made of plastic. Yeah, go ahead. Because that's because a Fushigi a was a ball. Yeah, yeah, made this out of is plastic. A, it's a David Bowie ball. Mm-hmm. Does an angel help someone while they are using telekinesis? Yes, they are moving with their hands. <laughs> maybe or no. I'm gonna go with maybe because yeah, I'm not hard sure. Maybe. Yeah, I yeah. don't. Even, I don't know what that means. They are moving yeah. with their hands. I don't feel comfortable. I think. Well, if I think if you know, hold on. Now I'm changing my answer because maybe uh-huh. that only makes sense to people with telekinesis. <laughs> oh shit. This is, yeah, they're trying to trap you here. Yeah. So yeah. if you don't understand that answer, then maybe. Yeah, we should probably take a hard, a hard line, uh, make a decision here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think don't. yes. Yeah. Let's say yes. I mean, that, angels, that seems to line up, mm-hmm. you know? they uh, Angels and telekine- tele- uh Dude, you ever seen freaking Neon Genesis Evangelion? There's I, angels in that. I stop. I forgot to keep watching it. Oh, it's good. It also yeah. has nothing to do with telekinesis. Oh, okay. Just, yeah. I d- yesterday I couldn't set up my Wi-Fi. Damn. Why I, not? Like, I don't. We moved and then forgot to tell Comcast. Oh shit! <laughs> so we haven't had Wi-Fi for like a month. Well, it oh, worked until like we had to go to that wedding, and then the day uh-huh. before, uh, it just stopped working. Damn. And Dom takes online classes. Oh fuck. Yeah. So she's had to use a hotspot. But we tried to reset it. And then it like was like, oh, okay, so the address you want service activated for, and then it was my friend's address in Manchester, <laughs> Damn, which dude. is a st- whole state away, like an hour. That sucks. So I think I just gave her double the internet speed. Wow. <laughs> I think I activated. <laughs> I think it just added more bandwidth <laughs> to her. I think she's going to have lightning fast speeds. That's good, dude. To, that's no that's great for her <laughs> that's good for her it's bad for me i want some i need bandwidth dude i need you just go to the store buy some bandwidth <sighs> probably What's i could the... probably download more yeah exactly you could you know it's remember like download, download more, more ram, RAM. Yeah, yeah dude that's a fucking 2009 deep cut mm-hmm. right there that's yeah. i was just thinking how I to think meet... someone convinced a kid at my school he could do that on the school computer that's sick yeah i love that 
I like everything from that era. Like every like fucking 4chan meme from like that. I guess like five years. That's all just 2009 to me. Yeah. Like ever like um like I was just thinking like like uh insane clown posse fucking magnets. How do they work? Oh yeah. That's 2009. Damn, it was, was 2010. 10 years ago. It was 2010, but it's 2000. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everything in my brain, whenever I think of one of those things, it's like, oh yeah, that's from 2009. Yeah, and I don't know why that's the year that my brain defaults to. Because it was 10 years ago. Shit. But I've always thought 2009. Even mm-hmm. like, like for the like, you know, this is numerology. Actually, I actually, I, a... I'm a numerology expert. Mm-hmm. Um, give me a number. I'll tell you exactly what it means. Eleven. That's when there's 11 of something. Okay. Yeah, so if you, if you see the number 11, mm-hmm. what that means is if you count to 11, that's how much that that number is. So if I count is. to 10 and then add one more. No, that's 10 plus 1. That's completely different. Okay. You are an idiot, dude. Right, I well, cannot believe you would say that. All right, next question. Next question. Can you focus easily? Uh, I got freaking ADHD. Yes, piece of cake. I have never tried, or I was successful at it only one time. <laughs> that seems like I've a... never been able to focus on anything except well, yeah, it, the birth of my son. One time. <laughs> one time. I have that's three what kids. The, that's what that song, One Time, is about. Mm-hmm. Is that a Justin Bieber song? Yeah. Yeah. That's when he was... Mm-hmm. It's the one time he could focus was the birth of his son. That's yeah. what that's, That was back when... Remember that era of Justin Bieber? That's another thing that's just yeah, 2009 I mean, to me. We fucking deal with that still because we keep going to top tens. Yeah, that's true. For this. I just mean like... I, I don't mean like Justin Bieber hate. I just mean like remember that era of Justin Bieber himself when he had yeah. like the bowl cut and like... Like... Yeah, and then everyone had that haircut. Yeah. I had that haircut. Not intentionally. It was just... Yeah, oh, I, I didn't cut. have that haircut because my hair is too crazy. My hair is like... Because I, I naturally grow an afro, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, My hair is a huge broom. Yeah. It's a big straw broom. <laughs> you sweep the floor and with I, it. And people turn me over and they, they put me on my head and they sweep me at the end of the night at the bar. <laughs> and they say, hey, last call is in five minutes. And you say, I'm sorry, I have to sweep the floor. I'm sorry, I got to sweep the floor with my big head. Yeah. My big broom head. Yeah. <sighs> big fucking... <sighs> big crap. If Caleb was here, he would say something like... Yeah, he'd say like... Yeah, uh, my, did my, my fucking crap. Bi- bitch girlfriend has a big head or something. Yeah. He'd probably say something like that. Mm-hmm. He'd say... Uh, <sighs> say like... He'd say some racial slur. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He'd say... Boop. Eating crap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard he couldn't uh, call in today because he was actually out beating up gay people. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> he just listens to this tomorrow and he, like, he's like, yeah, you think you, you, it was all true. <laughs> <laughs> How did they know? <laughs> oh, um, I would say we're only successful at focusing one time. Yeah. That's honest. I've only focused one time. Yeah, we've only focused on a list one time. Yeah. No, <laughs> number six is, do you believe in telekinesis? Nope. <laughs> it's nope sometimes or yes 100%. Well, if we say nope, what if they blow our mind at the end? They're like, congratulations. Yeah. Telekinesis is you, real and you have it. And now you have to believe. See, the craziest thing is we have it. We've been using all of the we've been moving the mouse with our minds the whole time yeah i actually haven't touched i don't know what the name of that is yeah but it was that's called uh just being smart right it's called patrick's mind game <laughs> patrick's patrick's big brain activity mm-hmm. it's called patrick's <laughs> brain wave <laughs> you're like a superhero and they're like hey what's your power and you're like yeah i uh, i actually have patrick's brain wave <laughs> i actually have patrick's brain <laughs> Um, sometimes I sometimes believe in telekinesis. Mm-hmm. I think that's fair. Does the the user need meditation to control telekinesis? Meditation is only for Buddhists. Yeah, absolutely. For what? For what? Yeah, like they forgot what telekinesis is yeah. halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, who wrote? <laughs> <laughs> what a computer <laughs> am I on? What the fuck? <laughs> Um, meditation is definitely only for Buddhists. I, I mean, fucking annoying, like, 
like white moms who mm-hmm. meditate yeah. an hour every day and aren't Buddhists. Yeah. If they're Buddhists, that's okay. Um, Karen. Exactly. Karen. Freaking, can I speak to your manager type? Uh, type can I people. speak to your manager? My name is Karen. And then the manager comes out and says, hello, my name also is Karen. Yeah. But it's a big buff guy and he mm-hmm. beats the shit out of the other Karen. Mm-hmm. That's what I, that's what I like to watch on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> big guy named Karen beats the shit out of. I had a of- gym teacher named. Really? Did probably shouldn't say his full name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll beat that out. <laughs> yeah. That's what. Okay, that's about. That's at twenty minutes. I'll remember. Okay. I'll remember to beep that. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> um, but fucking Let's beep part two, yeah. baby. Let's Karen, drop some more names. Uh, is a Karen is the funniest name you can give a woman. Absolutely. Or mm-hmm. freaking. Um, uh, uh, you're writing Felicia. A, mm-hmm. Yeah. So then, if you're writing a sketch, at the end of the sketch, you can say, Bye, Felicia. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's just whenever the other another character leaves the scene. Mm-hmm. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, bye, Felicia. What if every character in, in like, movies said, like, hello and goodbye every time <laughs> that they walked in and left? <laughs> hello, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, Luke Skywalker. Goodbye, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Yeah, no, but if you ever write if you if you write sketch comedy, okay, here's Patrick's sketch comedy tip. Uh if you write a sketch, okay, and you need a, a name for a woman who's a who's a real B I C H <laughs> If you need a name for a woman who's a real a real B I C H, a real battle axe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm using that term correctly. Um, I don't know. But if you're using a term <laughs> if you're using a name for, yeah, if you have a okay, lady who needs to see the manager, or she yeah. needs to, or she doesn't like her dinner, or she's meditating, mm-hmm. and you not name, and not a Buddhist, mm-hmm. and you name her Karen, that's gonna make me laugh. Yeah, that's gonna make me laugh hard. That's gonna make me freak out. That's gonna make me in a positive laugh, way. So that's gonna make me just emit one long noise. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna make me meditate, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, meditate I'm gonna on that My for eyes a while. are gonna go completely white. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to screech my back into my head. I'm gonna screech so loud it's gonna be a hard, piercing sound. It will break glass. Yeah, yeah. Break the TV. Mm-hmm. Break the projector that you're playing your video about adulting on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, beginning. Karen. Mm-hmm. It's time to be adult. It's time to adult. It's time to adulting. It's time to commit adultery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's time to commit adulting. Epic, epic win. Mm-hmm. Adultery. You're gonna put some. You're gonna. You're gonna make a video about shaving, and you're gonna put the shaving cream all over your face. Oh my and gosh! It's gonna be on your glasses too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow! Now that would be a, that, that would, would be, be hilarious. A, and you're putting trying to put on lipstick, but mm-hmm. it goes up d- across your whole face, uh-huh. and then you start crying, and then, and you, then go, you spit out blood, and you're like, w- w- "I adulting is too hard for me. Mm-hmm. I'm in a two person sketch troupe, <laughs> and our my sketch troupe is named. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put in a beep Woo! there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like how this show is only for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, meditation is only for Buddhists. Next question. We're going so slow on this. This is great. Yeah. I was expecting us to, to I know. breeze through this. Is moving light and small objects easier? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Size or, and weight have nothing to do with movement. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's not the size true. of the wave. It's the motion of the ocean. Exactly. <laughs> What is the which is the abbreviation of telekinesis? T K P S or U S A? I think U S A. Yeah, because yeah, it's U. It's U. 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 Smooth. You superpower. Awesome object. You uh, <laughs> superpower. You superpower uh, object. <laughs> that's yep. Yeah, that's it. U S A. Next question. Do you want to have the power of telekinesis with all of your heart? <laughs> yes. Here are the options. Not really. Always dreamed of it. Or just trying this test. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, always dreamed I don't want to sure. lie. No, I would. I've all definitely always wanted to have yeah. telekinesis. I'm just trying the test, though. Man, you ever see but that? You're, you're closer to the computer. Yeah, I'll click always dreamed of mm-hmm. it. Ever um, see what? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Does one need talent? I was gonna say, do you ever do you ever see it and then say a movie about telekinesis? But I couldn't think mm-hmm. of one. Well, fucking X Men, you dummy! I never watched X Men. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, wow, because you 
Because I don't you like support Brian Singer so much that you exactly. don't want to see you want to see his art films. You don't want to see his big blockbusters. All right, don't try and turn this. You clearly mm-hmm. are the supporter of Brian Singer. I mean, if no, you, I support. You just Wolverine. brought it. You just brought Brian Singer into this. You could have no. left that out and stayed. No. Scott Clean. You Scott the, Clean. Scott Clean. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name, dude. That's Mister Clean's first Scott name. Clean. <laughs> Jeez. Scott Clean. Scott uh, Clean. Scott Clean. White Mike. Yeah, Scott Clean and White Mike. Hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Just two guys sucking each other. <laughs> Scott Clean. Oh, they're just sucking you. <laughs> Does one need talent for telekinesis? Yes. No, it's something you just have or don't have, not something you develop. Or both. <laughs> oh, both is the safe answer. Well, yeah, but what does that mean, though? How can it be both um, yes and no? Hey, Cameron... Uh, have you ever heard of both of? Uh, no. Could what? What is it? What? Both what, of? Yeah. What? Could you explain what? Both of the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <sighs> My cousin tried to do one of have those. Have you ever? Hey, have you ever heard of uh, of um, kill? <laughs> Have you ever heard of kill? Kill. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My cousin. Doing that. <laughs> hey, have you ever heard of fuck? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck your dad. Have you ever heard of uh, penis? What? Penis you're sucking on. <laughs> yeah, this week, yeah, with that wedding this weekend, my cousin tried to do one of those on me. And I said it like I guess I said what too many times that he just ended up explaining the joke to me. <laughs> yeah, I've been just a mess. Like, hey, have you ever heard of uh, these nuts? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard of the nuts? <laughs> what nuts? Both of <laughs> both of them. Bo- both both of them. <laughs> God damn it! You got me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it was both of them. <laughs> yeah, so both. That's what yeah. I'm going to say for this question. Closing it. Question 12. Must one be born with telekinesis to be able to use it? <laughs> uh, the answers are no. It depends on practicing. Yes. And why not? Let's say why not. That yeah, seems why not? Fun. Yeah, why not? Number 13, unlucky question. Do you have any other powers besides telekinesis? <laughs> <laughs> the, the options are yes, no, or one other power. <laughs> I'm going to go with one other power. Well, what's your power? Before you select that, you okay, got to tell me. you go first. What's your power? No, I have three more powers. Oh. Your power is having three more powers? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I guess uh, my power is uh, punctuality. Punctual. You are late all the time. <laughs> that does not count. Oh, well, I was early today. That's true. Earlier than you were at McDonald's. I was at. My, I'm eating a McFlurry right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can hear it. All you're gonna hear is that's, Cameron's you know, wet that's peanut my, butter that's my mouth. Favorite, my favorite uh, Marvel character, Mc, Mc, Mc McFlurry. McFlurry. Yeah, you know with the eye patch. Uh, yeah, yeah. McFlurry. He <laughs> plays Sam the, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. McFlurry. He's like, he's like, man, I don't have time for all these superheroes. I'm gonna go to the store. <laughs> yeah, I remember when he did that. Yeah, he's like, man, there's too many Captain Americas here. Yeah, there's too I'm many gonna go to the bathroom. motherfucking Captain America captains on this motherfucking America. This motherfucking X jet. Yeah, because the uh, the X Men are in the MCU, folks. Are they? Woo! Did they? Are they in the MCU now? Yeah, the Fantastic Four and the X Men are finally they announced it at Comic Con. Damn, I saw they announced fucking uh, Lady and Thor Blade. Yeah, with Mahershala Ali, that sucks, dude. That I mean, I mean I, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, but there's the thing is, there's no way they're gonna hit an R rating with you know what I mean? Right. There's no way it's gonna be as fucking sick as like Blade Two. I think they do an R rating for Blade. I don't know though. I mean, they no kid, no little kids. Like, damn, I love Blade. No, but teens are like, I mean, yeah. like you know what I mean? The well, just have your dad bring you. Yeah, but that's your fat just, dad they, loves the MCU. That, I don't think they would. I don't think they would do it. You know what I mean? Your you and your, fat, you and your fat family <laughs> love the MCU. I, yeah, I I hope they do. I hope. I mean, I hope I'm wrong, mm-hmm. but I feel like it's gonna be a PG-13. Um, oh, last night, fucking Dom was watching some video that had 
like it was about like the MCU things like it was like all the announcements and I was like wasn't I was within earshot but too far away to hear anything and I thought that the guy said like and Spike Lee is going to direct Black Panther 2 <laughs> And I was like, holy shit, that is going to be insane. I want to see that so bad. And then I kept asking her, if she, like, he said, did Spike Lee, is Spike Lee going to direct Black Panther 2? And she was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and now, I, now I'm, now i like, going to start a petition to get him to direct Black Panther 2. That would be pretty cool. Because that would be insane. They're making um, Doctor Strange. Yeah, they're, they're going to put Doctor Evil in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange versus Doctor yeah. Evil. <laughs> <They're good. laughs> Austin Powers gonna join the MCU, dude. He's just like fucking Captain America. Yeah, he's Captain Britain. Yeah, I think there is a Captain Britain in there the is. comics. He's, yeah. He has like cooler powers than Captain America. Though. What's he can his fly? power? He can fly. Yeah. Isn't there also a Captain Canuck? Maybe. I think there is. I think that's like a joke character. Though. I think that's like well, there's, Al- Man. there's Alpha Flight. Mm-hmm. Which is the Canadian team, and they have fucking Sasquatch on their team. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. And they I'm got like, Howard the Duck on damn. their team. I don't I'm ju- know. And I'm just like, damn. <laughs> it's like, damn. They got Sasquatch on their team. I'm just like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I wish the freaking Patriots had Sasquatch on their team. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wish Rob Gronkowski had. <laughs> I wish Rob Gronkowski team. was fucking had hair all over him mm-hmm. and was an ape. Yeah. Rob Gronkowski, the shaved ape. Yeah, that's what they call him. You ever did I show you Rob Gronkowski's uh, stand-up comedy tour? No. On show on on. All right, podcast about list viewing party. Mm-hmm. Uh, you go to if you have the Showtime Anytime app. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go. You go to comedy specials on there, and I think it's one of the first ones that shows up. But Rob Gronkowski has a stand-up special. Jesus. It's not just him. Okay. It's like a bunch of just like comics from New England and then Finesse Mitchell, if you remember him. I don't. He was on Saturday Night Live for like two seasons. Okay. He was pretty good on there, but he sucks now. But <laughs> yeah, he's I doing don't actually, I don't know. With he might be, Gronkowski. yeah, if he's doing stand up with Gronk, I mean, with the Gronk. it's just a bunch of like Boston and like there's a one dude from New Hampshire who has jokes about New Hampshire. Nice, dude. Yeah, and it was filmed in like Worcester, I think. It's the fucking demo. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and watch this, dude. Gronk's whole performance it. is abysmal. It's just him talking about <laughs> like he's getting he's coming off the like the heat of like winning a Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. And then everyone in the crowd is just some fucking like. Boston Townie, yeah, and they're dude. all sitting there just going buck wild, and all Jesus. he has to do is just be like, "So Tom Brady and I were in the locker room." Yeah, and everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. <laughs> he takes off his jacket at one point, and every like just all the women in the crowd start screaming. And he's like, "Yeah," it's like, <laughs> dude, Grunk fucking. Oh my god, it's like watching Hope that guy dies. It's like being in middle school and watching like the popular kid get voted for president yeah is like that's the how it feels man that shit sucks i hate and it rocks <laughs> yeah and it's awesome and, and it's because i actually was thing. the kid who was getting voted because yeah, pre- i was the president i actually am gronk mm-hmm. yeah i'm still the president of my middle school yeah <laughs> <laughs> i gave the kids money to write me in <laughs> 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 I come back. You go back and you like go to the teachers that were mean to you, and you're like, hmm, like, hmm. <laughs> intro- I, I believe I. You, oh, I, I believe some I respect. wasn't allowed to go on the DC trip. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's run that one back. Let's. Hmm. You know. uh, you're fired, <laughs> <laughs> like, sir. What? what are you doing? <laughs> You're not allowed to be in this. Sir, I, do you have a visitor's pass? Or yeah. uh, you're fired. president? <laughs> <laughs> I'm president. You're fired. Uh, what's the next question? Yeah, I'm gonna bring Rob Gronkowski what's on the, the DC trip, question? and all the kids are gonna go buck wild. Yeah, and we're gonna slit his throat in the hotel yeah. room. <laughs> we're gonna put his body on top of the Washington Monument. We're gonna dip his hand in water while he's asleep and flood his room <laughs> <laughs> with his insane bladder. It's gonna be like Shape of Water, where she's fucking the fish in the yeah, bathroom. Yeah. And then the it's door is piss. just, yeah, the door yeah. is like screaming water. It's like the shining, water. dude. <laughs> it's the shining elevators, but, but instead of blood, it's piss. Yeah. That'd be cool. 
Uh, number 14, can you loan part of your telekinesis <laughs> powers to someone else? The options are yes, if you want to, and no, it's not an apple to share with someone. <laughs> Bro, it's not an apple it's to share apple. someone. Uh, I'm uh, what's say the no. difference between yes and if you want to? That seems like the same yeah. answer to me. Yeah, I think it's an, I think it's not an apple. It's mm. for sure not an apple. Telekinesis is not an apple. Yeah, official stance. Mm-hmm. Telekinesis not an apple. Last question. You let's. Last question here. The trust is a chance to have telekinesis. What? The, the options are maybe, yes, and who told you that? <laughs> Who told you that seems like the best answer? Cause yeah. Because you get to ask the questioner a question. Exactly. And that's exactly what someone with telekinesis would do. Exactly. To ask a fucking annoying question. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what does that mean? The trust is a chance? I don't know. I'm a fucking trust buster, dude. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. I... I'm a trust fund kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, I'm going to kill you. Yep. My father uh, recently got into some legal John, troubles for John his D. island. John D. Rockefeller. <laughs> that's your dad's name. John D. Rockefeller. Yeah. Like Jay-Z Rockefeller? No, it's a... Uh, John D. Rockaware. What John about D. That? Rockabilly. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and it's just a... Uh, it's just a Rockabilly guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a guy in a leather jacket. Yeah. And a big and like, oh, aren't you like part of a super rich family? And he's like, no, I'm just a Rockabilly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like to pretend to be Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking like <laughs> just going to like Las Vegas and seeing an Elvis impersonator and being like damn that's the richest guy in the casino <laughs> <laughs> look at all of his gems dude yeah. he's got so many gems <laughs> encrusted to his shirt oh my god that's Elvis <laughs> That is the richest man I've ever seen. I have seen Elvis like 10 times tonight. He's been, I've seen him everywhere I go. He's already there. I don't know what the fuck is going on. He's changing so many outfits. <laughs> he looks slightly different every time. Uh, let's get our results. Let's see if we have telekinesis. Mm-hmm. Test results. Uh, do I have the power of telekinesis? Here's our result. The only thing I can say is forget about telekinesis. It's just not in the cards for you. But don't take it too hard because you have lots of other talents and abilities you can use and enjoy. Oh. The image for this is an arrow pointing to a stick figure and it says loser. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like that's a mixed message. Yeah. They're saying don't take it too hard. Then they're also calling oh, you us can a write an email loser. to our Mazd wizard. I think they have comments too. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it says, um, here we go. Comments. It says I have, but I weak and I try. Nothing happens. <laughs> It says weak, but every time I try, the cup would shake and fall over. Something would touch me? <laughs> <laughs> it said for me 100%. Yay! I was playing with fire once, and every time I light up a candle, I, the fi- the light started going out, but there was no air blowing it out. <laughs> Whoa, damn. <laughs> that's a ghost. Yeah. Yeah, I don't that's, think that's telekinesis. As much as I watch supernatural shows, I should have some knowledge of, though it doesn't surprise me, that I, I can control fire or electricity. I thought that said ethnicity. <laughs> I, can I can control my ethnicity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is basically what Mystique... Can't, can't wait to use my powers, but I need to test it on something. <laughs> Please tell me my powers. <laughs> Q test. However, the creator of this test is off base. My hands move objects without the mumbo jumbo. It's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> it's called picking stuff up. Fucking... Yeah, there's a lot of comments. I yeah. need instructions to use my powers. This is really sad, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> this is. I think we're just making fun of kids again. Yeah. Here's another test. Oh, what How ethical recommended are you? quizzes? Austin Powers. I don't know, let's see what this is. Oh, okay. oh it's a category. Wait, I want to go back. How well wanna... do you know the man of mystery? Are you a controversial person? How ethical are you? Hmm. One second. I'm just gonna go back to personality tests. Um. Uh, um. Which weapon or warrior are you? What is your personality? Animals test. Dog. Dogs. What Horse. Dogs? Horse. Wolf. Are, are you, you this the- <laughs> star? What does that mean? Archie Comics. Beyblade. My Little Pony. Teen Titans. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, we should take the Yu-Gi-Oh test. Why? No. We shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. It's bad radio. You're going to just keep... Go- you're not even going to talk the whole time. You're just going to sit there and, and read, the- read Yu-Gi-Oh things. Yeah. What? What's the problem with that? Okay. Am I athletic? I feel like you don't need a test to know yeah. that. That's not something you just know. You just need to jump big. 
Category, are you a kid? <laughs> Should we take, are you a kid? Are you, how old are you? Are you still a kid? Are you a kid at heart? Are you a home kid? Are you a home kid? Do you belong in the ch- Medina <laughs> Children's Home? <laughs> Where is, what is one. the Medina Children's Home? Yeah, children's Home in Medina. Question one, have you ever been charged with a felony? No, I have not. No. All right. Question what? two, what are the courts? I, the, like, like court? Wait, court? no, dude, wait, wait, we're skipping this. We're going straight to am I gay? Okay. Am I gay? All right. Uh, there are already so many tests out there just like this one, but it took me so long to find one that actually took the matter seriously. And as there are so few, I decided that adding one more to the ranks couldn't be frowned upon, uh, unless you're extremely homophobic, in which case, screw you. Mm, okay. Question one. Say you had a choice of two dates, one with a guy, really sweet, but going out with him would sincerely lower your reputation. What? And the other with a, gu- <laughs> the other with a girl, smoking hot, but has a tendency to turn nasty. Who would you choose? Uh, I was just asking him, would you date a boy or a girl? It's yeah. kind of cheating. <laughs> what are the options? Choose the girl, don't want to look <laughs> bad at school. Choose the girl, I like her cleavage. Choose the guy, I like him because of his butt. <laughs> Choose the dude, screw what everyone thinks, plus he's alt nicer. Okay, I just looked up the Medina Children's Home. Yeah. It's uh, it's in Boston, or no, it's in Texas. That's <laughs> a big difference. It said it said Medina Children's Home near Boston, Mass, and then it says <laughs> the closest one well, what is, is it? Medina, Texas. Is it an orphanage? It's a, like a troubled yeah. children's home. Yeah, it's a, a ch- it's a children's home. <laughs> nice baby. This was that the entry test. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they got all the tests on this website. It would make sense if we stumbled upon like a, um, like a, a children's test, a home test. using <laughs> this website to be like, do you belong here? Well, what are you gonna do? What do you choose? What up? This is kind of a, a tough. Choose the dude. Screw what everyone thinks. Plus, he's alt nicer. What is alt nicer? So you choose that one. You're gonna date the guy. No. Why does it say alt nicer? Is that I don't like know? But I new... just you seems like you just chose. Is that, that one. is that some political thing? I have to be aware of. Alt nice. Nice. <laughs> he's alt nice. <laughs> it just um, means mean. See, I'm gonna go with Cameron's choice. What's my choice? What's my choice? This is your choice. You have to say it out uh, loud. Choose the guy. I like him because of his butt. Nice, dude. Number two, your parents have discovered that you're thoroughly gay. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> After uh, investigation, we have figured out that our son is thoroughly gay. <laughs> this seems like this. Yeah, this doesn't seem like an am I gay test. Yeah, this Other test. Wait, how about this test? Could you be gay? <laughs> is my bro gay? Boys only. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's do this about Caleb. Okay, here we go. Number one, when talking about females, what does he do? Avoids the conversation, talks about the conversation for a little while, and then talks about boys or something unrelated. Stays silent or is anxious to talk about females. It's kind of all the same thing, isn't yeah. it? Also, it's, a, it's like females. It's saying females, not women. Well, yeah, of course, dude. This is boys only. Okay. When you're with your boys, you yeah. call them females. Mm-hmm. That's, everybody a, knows that. You make a steeple with your fingers and call them females. Yeah. <laughs> um, Caleb definitely will talk about the conversation for a little while and then talk about boys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll say. He'll Next talk question. about big wrestlers. Yeah. And he'll talk about how much he loves to look at them. Number two, does he stare at you for more than seven seconds? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Caleb stares at... Number mm-hmm. three, when your bro stays the night and sleeps in the same bed as you, what happens? He He, sleeps very close to you on purpose. He sleeps in the bed with you but wants his space. Or he don't ever sleep in your bed. Well, Caleb's never been to my house. No, he's been to your house one time. No. Oh, yeah, he's but he didn't sleep over. Damn. Has he slept over your house? He would, no. Did he share your bed? I slept over at his house. Mm, Did you share his bed? No, I did not. Hmm. I guess, but he's never slept in my bed. I think we so have to get this one to him. So he don't ever sleep in my bed. <laughs> yeah, I think we, as much as I would like to make him gay, I think we have to. Yeah, we have to be honest about this. Yeah. When you and him are around another group of guys, how does he act? Your bro is getting along with them more than he get along with you. Your bro is acting a little nervous around being around all the boys. Your bro acts the same as he always acts. Your bro is not enjoying being around them, but he not complaining. Your bro wants to leave immediately. <laughs> I think every time Caleb is in a group of guys, he, he looks at one of us. And he says, we have to leave We have to go <laughs> now. And then we find out days later it's because he clogged the toilet. So yeah. I don't know. 
if he wants to leave. I mean, I think Caleb acts a little nervous being around all the boys. Because mm-hmm, he clogged the toilet. Exactly. Is that, what's this picture of here? That is uh, The Simpsons. All right, is they got a picture of The Simpsons. Mm-hmm. All right, next question. Uh, when your bro jokes around with you, what does he do? Talks dirty, smacks your ass, licks his tongue at you, <laughs> winks at you, or none of these. But what about all of these? Because Caleb does all of these. Caleb talks dirty. Caleb calls us on the phone at 3 a.m. <laughs> he goes, hey, you up? And he, he, he picks up the phone. And he goes, I'm going to fuck you and kill you. <laughs> and I go, what? And he goes, just, I'm just and talking like, hey, dirty. it's Caleb. Yeah. I'm playing a joke. I'm playing a prank on and then you. He, and then he winks through the, in phone. the phone. He just says, wink. <laughs> yeah, he says, wink. Yeah. I'm going to fuck you and kill you. Yeah. And he says, you should, uh, and he says, uh, you should come over mm-hmm. so I can kill you. So I can fuck you and kill you. Yeah. Um, Caleb licks his tongue at people. Mm-hmm. He's a He's licker. Constant, well, that's because his lips are so chapped. From- <laughs> he has dry, yeah. bloody lips. Mm-hmm. And he's just... He's, he's all wet looking. completely all over except for his lips because yeah. of how much moisture is leaving his mouth. Because he's always putting freaking bones in his mouth mm-hmm. and they're chapping his they're lips. They're chapped because yeah. of all the bone. Chapped bone. Mm-hmm. What's up? My name's Chap Bone. My name's Ken Bone's brother, Chap. Yeah. <laughs> what a guy named Chap. Oh, this is a long one. When you feel ugly sometimes or days where you don't feel like you don't look your best what most likely would your bro say if he overheard you talking about yourself if you never feel ugly just imaging if you did (laughs) this is a great question he tells you how attractive you are he stares at you and say nothing he gives you a hug he tells you to stop talking about yourself he agrees that you're ugly hmm i don't know i'm not even able to imagine me thinking that i'm ugly yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm very ugly. I can't even image that. <laughs> I can't even. Um, we should give Caleb an ultrasound. <laughs> <laughs> Just the thought. I don't know. <laughs> uh, right? I think Caleb, um, he stares and says nothing. Yeah, he's got that INTJ stare. Yeah, he has the INTJ stare. That, yeah, that... Slightly sardonic smile mm-hmm. coupled with the piercing stare. I can't reach that the makes computer. you just slightly uncomfortable. Um, number seven. Do you sometimes have a feeling? Just have a feeling that your bro's gay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What is the category that your <laughs> Why bro is would? Is that Calvin? <laughs> 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 what is the category that your bro would dress like? Leather jacket, denim boots, sportswear. Sweatsuit, tank tops, slippers, joggers, skinny jeans, anything that looks too tight, skirts, fanny packs, purses. Caleb is wearing skirts and fanny packs, but not purses. Yeah, so that makes it tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, How about this? It's a satchel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe it's that's, I think that might be why Zach Alphanakis yeah. is out okay. of the picture that for this. Makes sense. Um, guy walking into the room. I think it was a girl, actually. Oh, okay. Well, they're you want to fucking fight about it? Okay. <laughs> um... Uh, next question. Number nine. When a gay boy comes around your bro, how would he react? <laughs> he judges the gay boy. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles. He stares. He acts different in a bad way. He acts the same as he always acts. He judges the gay boy. I think Caleb acts different in a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> when he sees a gay boy. <laughs> bad meaning gay. <laughs> <laughs> he starts acting really fucking gay, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's different in a bad way. Next question. Number 10. Does your bro compliment you a lot? Yes. Yes, but I don't really think it means that he gay or no. Hmm. Yes. Yes? <laughs> what kind of compliments does Caleb give to you? A uh, nice hole. <laughs> okay. Well, I would say that I don't think that's that gay. Oh, okay. That's like a normal compliment, that's a right? Normal Between thing. boys. Mm-hmm. No, it's, he compliments. He's a he compliments Patrick's hole all the time. Yeah, he's always like yeah, number ooh. eleven. It, he goes, <laughs> ooh, oh wow, <laughs> ooh, ooh, I'm Caleb. <laughs> ooh, ooh, wow, what a what a hole, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, that's not Jeff Goldblum. Um, uh, actually, um, um uh, uh, hmm. it's it's uh, hard uh, to do a Jeff Goldblum audio impression because it's all yeah. face touching, and he's all like, he's like. Wow, oh, okay, yes, oh, oh, all right, so his mm, whole, um, mm, uh, and that's a very good mm, idea, okay, yes, so now I see yes, what we're going to um, do, oh, um, mm, mm, and my, yes, oh, wow, mm, yeah. 
He's he's well, the perfect scientist. I think dude, that's the only characters he can play yeah, as scientists. The, the fly. Mm-hmm. And, um, he, oh, and a fly. And he Jurassic. can only play a bug <laughs> and a scientist. <laughs> he can only play a scientist and a giant. Yeah. A, a giant, giant fly. fucking bug. <laughs> mm-hmm. Those are his two roles that he's meant. Dude, that's why... <laughs> That's why that's the perfect movie. He can only play a big bug or a big scientist. They're typecasting me as a bug again. <laughs> <laughs> if your bro was to see you with your shirt off, or if he had seen you with your shirt off, what does he do? Touch you, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. We don't even have to read the other Next questions. Question. Number 12, have you ever caught your bro watching gay porn? Um, he said the options are yes, no, or no, but he don't like me going through his phone. Hmm. Hmm. And it's a picture of the term. Test results. Is my bro gay? Boys only. You shouldn't even have to ask yourself. He's obviously gay. He probably already have feelings for you. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> oh, I can't. You're wait taking to... a hard stance on this yeah. one. There's nothing you can do. I know a friend on Roblox that's hey, like me. I oh, mean, <laughs> <he> gay. <laughs> He tells me the problem with him being gay because his parents don't like that, so they abuse him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the comment says, I've never had a sleepover, so I can't answer question three. <laughs> yep, just shut down the quiz. Damn. Um, oh, wait. This we also, get, wait, we can, get a, we can print out a certificate. One second. <laughs> Oh, you can just embed that to your MySpace. We're gonna embed this certificate. Oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold that up. Our, that our boy can we, can we tweet this result? Yeah, share on Twitter. Oh yeah, one second. We'll do. We're doing it. We're okay. Oh, you got to change accounts. Uh, so, all right, you just talk for a minute. All right, so. Uh, fuck. Wait. What do I? Oh, uh, we've been doing this bit. Uh, it's a bullfrog. <laughs> yeah, we're going to. It's a Giancarlo. bullfrog named Giancarlo, and he lost his penis. Yeah, and, and he, uh, he goes like, he's like, oh, oh no, oh god, oh, oh god, god, oh no, my penis fell off again. My penis fell off in a storm drain. <laughs> it rolled away. Oh no, my oh, penis fell off in a storm drain. God, no, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, we did that. We did Giancarlo the bullfrog for one hour. While we were waiting for a uh, sketch troupe to set up. <laughs> Look at this tweet. It <laughs> fucked up the formatting on the <laughs> Guys, if you listen, go look at our tweet from yesterday. When you yeah. listen to this, you are going to crack the hell up. You're going to uh, freaking laugh. Um, oh, God. I haven't seen the new Twitter desktop it thing. It sucks, dude. Dude, that looks awful. It's really bad. Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, it's, it's I like I haven't seen it because I've been only I've only been using my phone for it. Yeah, but yeah. like I only use I don't get why so many people use desktop Twitter. Yeah, I only use it because oh, they're at work. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <sighs> um. Oh God! Yeah, so we just shared oh, it to Twitter. God, my, my... Oh no, my freaking penis fell off in the storm rain. Oh God, Mama, you got to help me. I don't know what to do. I lost my penis again. I need you to buy me Oh, the new magician one. came over to me. I was waiting. I was waiting for my food at the restaurant. They had a magician, and the magician <laughs> come up magician to me. At the restaurant. There's a magician at the restaurant, and he come up to me. He take I'm his wand little... out. He go poof, <laughs> and my penis go away. <laughs> I'm just a little bullfrog. I don't know. I, I don't was at know. The I should not trust magicians. <laughs> I thought it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's oh enough God. of Giancarlo. Yeah, we'll just we'll do fucking seven minutes of Giancarlo every week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start a we're gonna make a cartoon about Giancarlo the bullfrog, and yeah. every episode is him trying to find his penis, and it just fell off, and it, and it went in a different place. Mm-hmm. But it I always ends up back in the, the storm stew. drain. Yeah, that's. Oh no! My neighbor put my penis in their gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez, I have a shellfish allergy. My penis going to swell up in a shrimp. (laughs) (laughs) They locked my penis in jail. (laughs) Oh, no, my penis fell off at the women's march. They are stopping all over it. (laughs) They think it is a dildo. (laughs) They are taking it home. (laughs) 
Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh god, oh no! <laughs> Mm. What time are we at? Oh, we're at 54 minutes. No, that's that's we really filled up a lot of time with Giancarlo, huh? Yeah, well, only like five minutes. Caleb wasn't Carlo. even here to do, hear Giancarlo. That's Giancarlo's okay. Giancarlo's debut. Yeah, his big break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Giancarlo, uh, what if it's like the hello, my honey, hello, my baby frog? But he's like, he comes Where is my penis? <laughs> Where is my penis? Where is my penis? Help! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, yeah. So we're going to one episode a week now. I feel like we should probably pl say that we already did. We said, I mean, yeah, we said we it already... online, but like, there's probably some people. We said in the last episode going. too. Oh, we did. Yep. Oh, so fuck you. Oh, okay. Well, sorry for trying to be prepared. <laughs> oh, well, well, okay. <laughs> um, rate us five stars yeah. on iTunes. Rate us one we star. We should be saying and that. Then, uh, all of your comments on the ratings. All have of to your be, comments are belong to us. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, all your base are belong to Cameron. I vote. It's, it's um, it's Kamala Harris, and it's all your voter base are belong to me because she is <laughs> killing it out there. <laughs> yeah, but that insane clown posse. Yeah, that insane clown posse Pell Grant idea. <laughs> I'm going to erase. Is, I'm going to d d cancel the student debt of the insane clown posse. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a juggalo and you have completed at least one semester at of American community Ninja college, Warrior, <laughs> <laughs> then I'll get rid of ten percent of your debt. Yeah. <laughs> What was it? It's like you get. It's a Pell Grant. You have to start a business. You in, get like uh, it's debt forgiveness for people with Pell Grants who start a, a business in, in the a disadvantaged, disadvantaged community. For, and like it goes for like three years. Your business has to be around. I who think. the fuck has a Pell Grant and can afford to start a business? <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking well, that's insane. That's the point. Just, it's not going to apply to anyone. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's uh, just funny that you would like release that and be like, "Yeah, this is gonna look great." Yeah. <laughs> this is totally not gonna be like compared to the other people that I'm running against. Who right. are saying like, it's not gonna be like it's another just another thing of just Kamala Harris hates children. Yeah, she's she, fucking she hates kids. Yeah, did you hear Kamala Harris is putting all of Epstein's victims in jail. <laughs> Alright, uh, bye guys. Goodbye.